Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you my top picks for Valentine's Day. So sexy, seductive, sensual, intoxicating, all things Valentine's. We're talking about it. Before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. We are a uniquely diverse, positive bunch and you need to be a part of it. And without further ado, let's get into this. When I think Valentine's Day, I think for the most part, you know, intoxicating date night fragrances, ones that I know a man are going to love, but I also want to pick something that uh, is going to make you feel super sexy to you. So I want it to kind of fit both those things. Sometimes we can wear a fragrance that we feel powerful in, but it's not necessarily going to, you know, kind of lure, lure in uh, your significant other. So I wanted to, to bring you one that I think kind of does both. Probably number one, like the first fragrance that I think of is Scandal by Night by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Now this fragrance, um, it's uber, uber sexy. Like the honey in, honey in fragrances overall, I find to be so sexy. Now, Scandal, the original, it's bombastic. It's kind of in your face, but it's not for everybody because the honey in that one is so indolic that sometimes it actually just kind of smells like pee. And um, on me, <laughs> unfortunately, I get the pee. Like, it just does not smell right. This one does not smell like that. So when I put this fragrance on, uh, I get that honey, but it smells seductive and sensual, slightly indolic, but not the same way as the original. But what makes this one so kind of luscious and, and sexy is the cherry that's involved. The cherry isn't like a lost cherry, which is a, a darker kind of like, almost like a black forest cherry in liquor. Uh, this one is a little bit of a brighter cherry. There's some pear in this one as well. Uh, so, you know, there's some sort of brightness to the cherry, which keeps it from feeling too heavy, sticky, or cloying, but you definitely get a little bit of stickiness. So it smells like cherries that have been soaked in honey right there. Like that is, is sensual to me. So <laughs> Just imagine bottling that smell into here and that's kind of what you get, but with a little hint of freshness so it doesn't feel too cloying. So this is just gorgeous. I think that the main floral in this one is tuberose, but I think there's some jasmine in there as well. So it's those kind of uh, like but the tuberose doesn't smell super candy-esque. Like I feel like it smells more like jasmine than than tuberose somehow. Oh. This is just freaking delicious. Like this one is like, <laughs> this one, this one feels kind of sexual. Like that, like that's the only term that I, I well, see, I'm getting myself all excited and knocking stuff around. <laughs> anyway, uh, before I get too embarrassed, I'm just going to say this one, this one, this one's, this is, this is going to get you to third base. Like seriously, it's amazing. <laughs> Okay, okay, moving on. Next one is Lanterne du Rouge by Givenchy. Now this fragrance, like, like I don't know how I'm gonna even make it through this video because these are so amazing. So this one, this one is seductive. Like definitely you get that seductive. I had this in my Femme Fatale video. So uh, definitely like really sensual. It's a grown woman fragrance. It's not sweet and flirty in any way, shape or form. There's ginger in this, there's blood orange, there's pimento, there's some woodiness in there. Uh, but somehow as it dries down, there's a little bit of a root beer vibe that comes out in this, at least for me. Um, I just think it's so beautiful. I think it's sophisticated, like it's seductive, but it's sophisticated and it's interesting because I haven't smelt anything quite like it. So this is to me like um, in the designer realm, I consider this a bit of a masterpiece because uh, I haven't smelt anything like it. I think it smells super luxe. Uh, but it's not break the bank luxe. So if you want something that's sophisticated, seductive, 
luxurious smelling. This would be great for that fancy night out where you're going to an extremely sophisticated restaurant, uh, but you still want to smell like kind of sexy. This is definitely the one. Now again, a lot of these fragrances are ones that I really feel like guys really tend to enjoy. I really, they like sweet, they like sensual, they lean towards kind of the gourmand sweeter florals. Uh, so that's what I'm bringing you today. <laughs> And part of it too, like I feel sexy when I wear fragrances like that. And if you feel sexy, a lot of the times you're going to give off that vibe. So part of it is actually about you feeling really powerful, really sexy in the fragrance that you're wearing as well. But this one, La Nuit Tresor by Lancome, it is just delicious. So this one has uh, some fruits in there. Like seriously, I smell it and my mouth starts watering. There's some juiciness from the fruit in there. It definitely has rose, like rose is present. Uh, so if you're not a fan of rose, maybe steer clear of this. Rose is definitely present, but then you've got these beautiful fruits around it. It smells almost like there could be strawberry or blackberry in there. Uh, there's a tiny bit of kind of an incense-y feel, a little bit of smokiness to this, but then you've got praline and caramel and vanilla uh, in here as well. So it smells totally edible. Like I'm thinking kind of along the same line as a chocolate covered strawberry, but not as strawberry, but kind of that feel. It just smells so, so good, but it, there's no sense of this being like kind of a cheap, uh, cheap candy-esque fragrance, but this is definitely like sweet. It's alluring. I think that would be the word that I would use to describe this one. It's definitely alluring and there's a sensual quality uh, to this one. So I think of you're wearing a little bit more of a low cut blouse, maybe some gold chains. You've got your hair a little softer, so everything feels kind of soft and sensual and feminine. This would be the fragrance I would pick. Now, the next one is the only one by Dolce & Gabbana. I say this every time, this is the wrong bottle, but that's the fragrance that it is. The star of this one, I would say, is the Orange Blossom, but this also has caramel in it. It's got coffee. The coffee is present, but it's underneath that Orange Blossom, so it creates a tiny bit of depth. There's a sensuality to this one. The the floral, orange blossom to me is quite an alluring floral floral that guys tend to really enjoy some re for some reason. Probably again, because it's sweeter. So this is like a, a coffee caramel orange blossom fragrance. Primarily, that's what I'm getting out of this one. Guys tend to really enjoy this one. It would be a little more of a sophisticated option to black opium, which is also really gorgeous that women tend to really enjoy and men tend to enjoy it too. So this is a little bit more sophisticated. Um, that said, not everybody agrees that, that this smells kind of similar, like hardcore uh, black opium lovers just keep wearing that. But if you want something slightly different, but along the same lines, try the only one by Dolce & Gabbana. Um, it, it's beautiful. To me, this one has a powdery quality as well. So to me, this one, although it's sensual, it feels sensual, a little bit sexy. It feels a little more casual. So the only one by Dolce & Gabbana. The next one is super polarizing because some people just absolutely hate it, but you cannot deny that this is a man eater. So guys love this fragrance. It is La Vie Belle by Lancome. Lancome just makes great designer fragrances. Like everything that they put out, honestly, is pretty freaking awesome. But La Vie Belle, um, it's it's very strong. Uh, it's gonna last you all night. It, but guys love this. Like it's it's just syrupy sweet. There's florals in here. You get the praline, big time praline in this one. Uh, it's warm. It's sensual. It's feminine, it's slightly powdery, and guys love this. Like, they love this fragrance. In fact, I don't know if I've met a guy that doesn't love this, and this is one that gives me, gets me compliments from men. So uh, definitely La Vie Belle by Lancome. If you just want to reel them in, like, basically this is bees to a flower. Like, the guy, bee. This, flower. It's just the way it works with this one. It might've been out there for a long time. It may be overdone, but the reality is, is it's a keeper. <laughs> Next, I wanted to give you a layering option. One of the sexiest notes that I know of is cherry. 
So this is Cherry Delight by Be Layered. Um, you could use any cherry centric fragrance that's kind of deeper, darker. This is supposed to be a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. It's basically like the opening of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, which is that delicious, luscious, liquored up dark cherry note. Uh, that's what is in this one. So there's many, many dupes on the market, uh, but using a cherry fragrance like that and pairing it with one of your vanilla fragrances. So I picked Umbois Vanille. You could put, pick a deeper, darker, uh, sexy cherry, like something like Kayali's Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli or just even the Vanilla 28 paired with something like this cherry or take her Love Fest cherry, uh, Love Fest Burning Cherry and, and put it with her vanilla. Uh, if you've got those two, doing some combination like that, um, it, it just works together. So any vanilla with some sort of Tom Ford Lost Cherry dupe or the original, super sexy combination. So cherry is just somehow, there's something about it. It's just a sexy fruit. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just kind of is paired with vanilla, which is also just a very warm, sensual uh, smell. The The combination of the two is amazing. So it, whatever you have in your collection, if you mix these two, you're going to get something that's sensual and seductive and perfect for intoxication. The next fragrance, I honestly rarely mention it because it's not one of my favorites, but there's no denying it's hugely popular for good reason. And men really, really enjoy this one. Like they, they just do. I don't know what it is about them, but it, it, they love it. And it is Valentino's Donna Born in Roma. Now this fragrance, there's some floral in here. Uh, I think it's jasmine. There's bourbon vanilla. There's some woodiness in there. I believe there's black currant. That doesn't come out majorly, but you do get a, a hint of fruitiness to this one. To me, it works very similar to the only one by Dolce & Gabbana, where you're getting uh, some florals. There's that vanilla component or sweet component with a little bit of powderiness. And that powderiness creates a softness creates a femininity. I don't think, I think most men are tra attracted to a softer femininity, honestly. So alluring, sensual, as opposed to in your face and overly provocative, uh, like something like this. Every guy's different, I'm assuming, but definitely this is very feminine. It's alluring. Uh, there's a softness because of this powdery nature to it. Um, it has a, a, a beautiful kind of scent bubble that you get from it. Uh, but to me, it tends to uh, lean a little bit closer into the skin. So like if, if you walk by them, they're going to get just a slight gentle whiff of this. Uh, but yeah, for whatever reason, guys really tend to, to love this one. So Valentino Donna, born in Roma. Awesome. Now, another one I rarely talk about, but I think it is very kind of sexy and sensual and great for a date night would be The Only One Intense by Dolce & Gabbana. So this one, like, it's so, so good. So, so good. So this one has some green apple. I don't really get the green apple. There's coconut. I get the coconut. What I get is kind of a boozy coconut that starts to dry down into um, a little bit more woody. Uh, this one's a little bit more seductive feeling, a little bit darker than the only one, which feels a little more casual. This one feels actually a little more opulent. Uh, it's just beautiful. Like there's something about it that's super sexy uh, and just decadent uh, because of that kind of almost like a boozy coconut feel is what I get. This one also has uh, a good dose of vanilla. So as it dries down, like this smells so good. I'm wearing it today. I'm definitely wearing this because it uh, smells so good and I haven't worn it in a long time because somehow I wasn't liking the woodiness, but I intoxicate myself when I smell this. Like it's so, so good. So really, really enjoy this one. To me, it comes across as a boo boozy, slightly coconut fragrance. There's jasmine and orange blossom in here. Definitely get the florals. It's very sweet. And then you start to get kind of a spicy woodiness that comes out in the dry down. This one to me feels a little bit more formal, definitely more formal than the only one. Um, it's sweeter. It's somehow 
thicker feeling than the only one, which feels more powdery. This one doesn't feel powdery. This one feels just a little bit more deeper and darker. I kind of go back and forth on this one, but it is so, so beautiful. It's sophisticated, sensual, and sweet. Delicious. I've got two more to share for you uh, for Valentine's Day. The first one is Wanted Girl by Azaro. Uh, I've talked about this one quite a lot lately, so I'm not going to talk too long on it. Uh, again, this is one of those sweet kind of gourmand florally fragrances. There's orange blossom, there's datura, there's some, some fruitiness to this. There's some floral, but the star of the sh show is the dulce de leche that comes out, which is uh, like kind of like a creamy kind of caramel, uh, sweet caramel vibe is what you get from this one. To me, this is uh, one of those fragrances that guys are just gonna like, it's like moth to a flame with this one. Like it, it this, this one is one that I feel really attracts the men again. It's kind of the same sort of deal. So floral with some praline, uh, praline goodness, sweetness with some fruit on top. This one, same thing. You've got some floral with the orange blossom, which is like a man magnet in my opinion. But then you add that dulce de leche, which is like, like it's decadent and luscious and uh, creamy, a little bit lactonic, uh, caramel-esque uh, with a tiny hint of fruit on top. And it, it, guys are just, they love it. They love it. So I uh, really, really enjoy this one. I consider this one a pretty affordable option too. Uh, decent longevity on as, as well. This one is more, I would say, flirty casual. So it's not as luxe, as some, luxe smelling as some of the other ones. But if you want just something that a guy's going to like, kind of want to like get in there for nibbles, this is it. And last one is Olympia Intense uh, by Paco Rabanne. This one is seductive and sensual as well. This is an amber vanilla, but it's got a, a, some salt in there. So if you don't like salt, steer clear of this one. But this one makes me feel like a powerful goddess. I find this exceptionally sexy somehow. Uh, it's very, it, it, it has the same feel as honey. Uh, so it gives me that honey vibe, but not quite as, not quite as sticky. Uh, and it doesn't, it doesn't go weird on my skin at all. The amber and the vanilla and the salt creates this delicious kind of uh, sensual sweetness on the skin where it smells almost like it's your own skin that's been baked in the sun after being in the ocean. So it's a very, very sensual feeling. Uh, this one is super long lasting too. Um, it is very sweet, but it's not cloying somehow. So because of the salt in there, it tempers that sweetness and just, uh, I don't know, this one is my uh, Ocean Goddess fragrance. So for those of you that are in uh, warmer climates right now, this might be a great option because it's not super like heavy, seductive, thick, uh, where it's going to be too cloying for you. This one just per performs beautifully, even though it's sweet and thick and rich and, and decadent. It doesn't get cloying uh, because of the salt. And this, even though it is kind of that darker, delicious amber. Uh, this is one that I wear uh, all the time in the summer. So yeah, Olympia Intense, beautiful, kind of sensual, seductive, grown woman goddess type fragrance, for sure, gorgeous. So that is it. Those are my top 10 fragrances for Valentine's Day. What about you? What are you planning on wearing? What do you consider to be your most uber sexy, intoxicating date night fragrance? leave it in the comments. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and I hope that you have a great Valentine's Day. If you're with your girlfriends, have, have a blast. If you're by yourself, treat yourself special. If you're with your significant other, have an awesome time. And other than that, have a great week. We'll talk to you soon.